Hi there! Today we are going to differentiate between early blight and late blight. All blight diseases are caused by fungi, and the fungi in your crop production unit is normally caused by two major conditions, high temperatures and high moisture levels. Let's get to the differences between these two. We'll start with early blight. This disease is also known as Alternaria leaf spot and is caused by a fungal pathogen called Alternaria solanae. The disease can affect both seedlings and mature crops. Early blight is characterized by round and concentric rings or halos which are black in color. The area surrounding the halos is normally yellow in color. On to late blight. Late blight is a disease caused by a fungal pathogen called Phytothora infestans. This disease mostly affects crops in maturity, that is after the flowering and during fruiting stages. Late blight is characterized by brown streaks or patches which may appear on stems. Under damp conditions, white mycelium appears on leaves, stems and petioles and brownish dry rot of the fruit. As mentioned earlier, fungi is normally caused by two major conditions, that is high temperature levels and high moisture levels both of which can be attributed to either poor workmanship in the construction of the production unit or poor crop management practices. Why poor workmanship, you might ask? One, either the structure was constructed in a very conservative way without bearing in mind the climatic conditions of the area. For example, constructing poorly ventilated structures in very hot or humid areas. Two, the structure was constructed near lots of trees, bushes, and thickets which changed the microclimate of the area around the crop production unit, thereby causing humidity problems. On to why poor crop management practices may cause high temperatures or moisture levels. 1. How you do your spacing between the crops certainly affects the population of crops per square meter. Low spacing between crops may contribute to high humidity due to the resulting high populations and higher transpiration rates per square meter. If your crops are in controlled environments like greenhouses or screen houses, you might need to be extra careful on management of air vents or flaps where applicable. Failure to open these flaps or air vents whenever the temperatures within these structures is rising above 26 degrees causes humidity buildup and increase of temperatures within. Finally, Misting or overhead irrigation of crops may also cause fungal attacks. Drip and other surface irrigation methods are commonly recommended. You can control against fungal diseases by using synthetic or organic fungicides. Remember to diligently follow your fungicide spraying schedule. You can get a free schedule free of charge from Grandua Africa by requesting via our email, which is grandwaafrica at gmail.com. Back to our first question, which leaf is affected by early blight and which one has late blight? We hope you are now able to distinguish between these two diseases. Watch the video again if you didn't get something right and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with other farmers. For more farming tutorials, subscribe to our channel or log in to our website www.grandwaafrica.com.